Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you how to make a screen from your drawing so you can either make rice paper under glaze decals or you could, you know, that's what we're going to use them for ceramics, but you could potentially use them for teacher design. Um, you could put them on bags, whatever it is you're going to do, it, it would work. So I'm not using, you know, the really traditional fine art way of screen making just because um, I found a company called Easy Screen and they pretty much do all the um, labor intensive work for you. So you literally, all you have to do is create a drawing, um, put it on a transparency, and then um, you burn it onto the screen. So, um, I have my drawings finished, so you really need to make sure that you have a positive and negative drawing. And I have two different ones I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one first. Um, the lines are a little bit heavier. And then I really prefer this one because I like the line quality of it. But um, it's so fine that I need to do some test runs first before I use the whole screen. But I did the test on these already, so I know it's going to work. So um, I'm going to show you the process um, for, to how to use Easy Screen and how it works. So here we go. So just one more time guys, just to kind of clarify. So this was the drawing that I did. And then you have to copy it onto a transparency. You cannot burn um, your image onto your screen with a piece of paper. So it has to be on a transparency um, when you do this. And it cannot be a, a jet ink printer. It has to be the kind um, that has carbon. So make sure that you do that. You can either do it on um, your printer copy machine. You just have to check that um, your the kind of roller that you need to get that. So you gotta use the carbon thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my plexiglass um, and you wanna do it so that the carbon is up. So the carbon doesn't, you don't want it down. And then the screens come in this light sensitive bag. So you wanna make sure that you're doing this in a low light area. So I'm in my studio um, and it's pretty low light. I don't have the big lights on. So here is the screen and you have to peel the back side off here. It's got like this shiny film on it. So you're gonna peel that off and then you can just disregard that. And it's got two sides. It's got a shiny side and then a screen side. You wanna go screen side down on your plexiglass. So you're gonna line it up on your drawing. And then you're gonna take the felt mat that they give you and it's got two sides. It's got like a uh, smooth side and it's got a felt side. So then you're going to go felt side down. And then you're going to take your clips and you're going to clip all the way around it. Um, don't hold the clips down though or else it'll get in your image. I did that once. <laughs> I ruined the screen. And I think there is a little bit of a learning curve with this. Um, so definitely use those test um, pieces. Okay, so then just make sure that you check and make sure that your image is actually on the screen because sometimes it moves a little bit. And now we're ready to go out into the sun and burn this in. It has to, you have to make sure it's a really sunny day. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up and then I usually flip it over and we're gonna go outside and burn it. sunlight and if you really watch it you can actually see the screen kind of start to change colors from green to blue so that's also um, an indicator that you could look for. Um, I'm just using the timer on my phone so this is going to sit burning in the sun for one minute. That's the recommended time. I tend to do about a minute and 20 seconds just because my lines are so detailed. Um, I just want sure that it's um, effectively being burned and you need to make sure that it is really really sunny so like there's not really any clouds in the sky and it's a really really sunny day so we're at 50 seconds here and you can see that it's kind of starting to change colors a little bit I said I already did my test samples so if this doesn't work I'm going to be really disappointed and kind of concerned as to why this didn't burn properly but it should be good to go. I can see the color is changing. So 
So that is an excellent sign. Okay, so it's been for me a minute and 20 seconds. So then I'm going to cover this up because I don't want the light to get to it anymore. And we're gonna go inside and go to the next step. Okay, so I took my screen off on the board and now I'm going to set it in water um, and make sure that it is shiny side down. And you're, I mean, it, I don't think it really matters, but you're, what it's trying to do is pull the rest of that emulsion off where the design is. So it's gonna set in the water for 15 minutes. So obviously that would be very boring to watch. So we'll come back after 15 minutes and I will show you how sometimes you have to like pull a little bit more of the emulsion out, especially if you have really detailed design like I do. And then we'll do a screen print with it. So stay tuned. So I have let my screen set for 15 minutes. It's okay if it sets a little bit longer than that. Um, but you can kind of see like where the um, emulsion has come off on where the design is, but there's still a little bit there. So what I'm gonna do at this point is while it's in the water, I'm just gonna kind of like gently massage um, those areas where I feel like that emulsion is still on there because we're trying to be able to see the white area. So that's what we wanna be able to, kind of wanna be able to see through your screen. Now you don't, make sure you, you gotta be gentle. You, know, you don't wanna be really aggressive. You could even use maybe like a little brush, I guess. But I just kind of put it down in the bottom and just kind of run my fingers over it. If you have to be really, really aggressive with it, then it probably didn't, you probably didn't do it right. It didn't work. So um, just be careful. For mine, because my drawings are so um, have such fine lines, I have to kind of work the emulsion out of those little tiny sections. So, um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And this might take a couple minutes, you know, it's not something that you want to really rush through. I just kind of pop it back up and take a look at it. Hold it up to the light if you need to. My lighting's pretty dim because again, I didn't turn my big lights on. So I think we have a good screen. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to let it set in the sun for about 15 minutes. Okay, so here, oh my gosh, here is a test. And <laughs> Here's what happened. My students will do this, I know they will. I didn't pull the back off. And so look what's happening to this. And that will happen to you and you have now ruined an entire screen. Um, and so, you know, that can get really expensive for you. So that's why a test is so important. I got in such a hurry. But good news is I know that that, um, those lines are gonna transfer, so. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna move my water. And then I'm gonna put it on this kind of mesh screen. And you can get these at Michael's or Walmart or whatever for like 99 cents. So I'm gonna put this on here and I'm actually gonna clip it down because I've had them blow away before and then I had to hunt them down. So I'm gonna clip this because the sun won't do anything to it at this point. And then we're gonna set it in the sun for about 10 minutes 
and then it's gonna be ready to print with.